guys welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is well and safe and enjoying the quarantine i know it may be getting boring but guys this is the only time we can rest this is the only time we can do certain things but let's hope we'll be over soon so as you can see by the title <laughs> today i'm going to expose somebody <laughs> no i'm joking i won't i won't use actual names but let's talk about my worst date experience okay so um how old was i i think i was about 15 16 i can't really remember and there was this guy that i was talking to and you know he had been showing me a little bit of interest being like yeah let me take you out let's hang out all of this all of that and i'm like hmm, you're kind of cute or whatever let's give it a shot so obviously my parents are strict so time for me is like you know like you gotta be on time because i'm only allowed out of the house for it this thing is itchy i'm only allowed out of the house for a certain amount of time because my parents are like villa i want you home by this time you know and i'm like okay okay all right all right so i told this guy okay the earlier we meet the better so we kind of have more time so i told him oh come pick me up at 12 and i'll be ready and you can pick me up by the next street not by my house but the next street because you know what if my dad just decides a screw and here i am waiting outside and he'll be like go boost younger low ban pen was ban or he'll be like, I can go get anything. I'm full of And I'll be like... So I told him, pick me up by the next street. So my dad doesn't catch us off guard or anything like that. So I leave the house at like 11.55. I'm on time. I'm ready. Everything looking kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? And I get there. It's now 12.15. Where are you? Where you at though? Like... And he's like, no, 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 I'm on my way. I'm not far. Like, you know, I just had to sort some things out with my parents. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Thousand years later. Guys, I waited. And I waited. I was so close to just being like, let me just go back home. So now I'm, I'm a very impatient person. If you make me wait, I will not be happy with you at all no matter how much i like you i will not be happy i will be like excuse me you do not make me wait so he's like no 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 give me five minutes give me five minutes okay i'm like okay cool this guy pulls up the car is bent and i'm like what's that sound he has a flat tire he's driving a car with a flat tire and he expects me to go in the car with him driving a car with a flat tire excuse me my life <laughs> my life is very precious you know what if it gets worse like i was just like like i saw him i was like you do realize you have a flat tire right and he's like oh yeah it's been like that for like a while and i'm like <coughs> it's been like that for a while <laughs> go get it fixed bro like i was really skeptical but i was like okay should i just risk it or should i just and i was like let me just risk it like whatever so i got in the car i literally prayed guys i was like god please keep me safe got in the car um he took me to like like at first he's like oh where do you want to go and i was like oh i just want to get some food i want some pizza so he was like okay let's go to hayfield and i was like and people who live in Bulawayo know Hayfleas is like a spot. So I was like, mm, should I pitch up in Hayfleas with this car doing this? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to embarrass myself. So I was like, um, maybe we should just park the car close to Hayfleas and then we can just walk there. You know what I'm saying? Because usually there's never parking there. And then we get there and everything's chill. Everything's fine. Like we order a pizza. We sit down. We kiki here and there. And like... This guy starts going like, oh, like, um, you know, what did he say? He was like, oh, like, like, you know, you live kind of far and stuff. So like, could you like contribute to fuel? And I was like, 
could I what? Like you're the one that said you wanted to take me out. Now you want me to start paying for your fuel. Mate, you could have just told me and my mama would have dropped me off in town. But you offered to pick me up. Now you're saying I should contribute to fuel. I don't think so, Dali. So at first I look at him and I'm just like why why offer to pick me up then if you can't even afford your own fuel and then he was just like no 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 like you know like the pizza was more pricey than i expected and i was like bro these prices haven't changed they've been the same like you knew like you know you knew so now you want me to what and I'm thinking, this guy be acting like a baller, he'd be posting every weekend with like expensive bottles of alcohol, all of this. And not that I was into that, I didn't really care. But for me, it was like, okay, so you drive a car with a flat tire for a while. You ask me to contribute to fuel. You say the pizza was overpriced when you know the prices. And, huh? I'm sorry, you're a scum, you're a scum, you know who you are, you know who you are, I'm not gonna say names, but if you're watching this, bro, you did me dirty, um, yeah, so that happened, and I just didn't know what to say, and I think he noticed that it kind of got a bit awkward, so I was just like, it's okay, like, don't worry, like, I can get my mom to come pick me up if it's a problem of you dropping me off and bearing in mind i lived five minutes away from town legit five minutes so i was like no it's okay like don't worry like if it's a problem i'll just get my mom to come pick me up it's it's okay you know i've got my mom so don't you worry and then obviously the day continues i'm feeling awkward and then like i'm just like yeah it's now like almost time let me just text my mom to go and pick me up and he's like no 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 i'll drop you off don't worry i'll drop you off and i was like Ish, Shanta, do we risk it oh hillary do we risk it or do we just do we just like you know wait call your mom and be like mom come pick me up so i thought this guy's actually a really nice guy personality wise but all these things are just starting to annoy me so i was like let me just give him one more last chance and i was like okay yeah you can drop me off at home it's fine <sighs> on our way home <laughs> the car just dies in the middle of the road in the middle of the road guys and this is like one of the busiest roads like if you live in Bulaway, if you know that road like the trade fair road that like takes you to like where where like bradfield like the bradfield direction the car stopped there and I was just like, I just didn't know what to say. I was like, can you fix it? What's going on? The car is not starting, guys. I'm past my curfew. My mom is texting me. Where are you? Where are you? I got to a point where I was just like, you know what? Like, I don't think this is going to work. I'm sorry. Like, I tried to be understanding, but you can't portray one thing and then you're another thing and then like guys it just didn't add up and i was just like this guy like like what was going on and he's like no 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 don't worry my mechanic's on the way and i'm like you know what i'm really not that far from home i can just catch a lift and go home or i can just call my mom and be like i'm stranded this person's car's broke down but at the time i don't want my mom to know like i went on a date so it was kind of a bit awkward and she would have asked me like what are you doing on this side of town like there's no like shops or restaurants or anything on the side of town so why are you here so i don't want to ask answer those questions so i was just like you know what let me just tell my mom oh i'm a bit delayed i'll be home soon and she's like you better get here before your dad gets home because girl i am not explaining to him why you were late and then this guy like we're sitting in the car waiting for the mechanic to come and he's just like he's like saying like yeah like you know i want to take you out again soon and i'm just like i'll think about it I'll think about it like <laughs> I'll think about it like he wasn't a bad guy don't get me wrong he was a very nice guy but don't pretend to be something you're not for me you're either you have to be a hundred percent yourself like no matter what like bruh 
cars aren't everything i was 15 i did not care about cars i was i was just i was just like okay that's fine like i wasn't anyone who was fussy about those things but this guy was just trying to act like some baller like like all of this and then <laughs> The mechanic comes, you know, he rushes me home with his flat tire. So the rushing home was probably like 20 miles per hour because you couldn't drive fast. So I got home. Lucky enough, I literally got in like a couple of minutes before my dad. So I literally made it look like I've been home for a while. And my mom's like, yeah, yeah, you must come home on time. Your things are coming home late. And I was like, I made it though. And then, so this is after like the whole thing. I find out this guy had a girlfriend the whole time. So, <laughs> we live and we learn, baby. We live and we learn. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this story time. And, guys, don't be me. Don't do what I did. Check the receipts. If he's not, if he is not checking every box do not don't settle for less that's one thing do not settle for less that's one thing i've learned i was like mm -mm. i'm not doing this again i'm not no no but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys do enjoy like share and subscribe i'll catch you guys soon i'll leave the details on where i got this top from and my earrings and stuff in the description below Bye, guys. Stay safe. Mwah.